YouTube. I'm Harry, and uh, this is my second indie lab with Brendan Gill. He's actually here, but you can't see him. Um, so <laughs> this lab is kind of similar to the first lab, but we got some more. Uh, you know, we got we actually have two more uh, equipments. We got the color swatches. Basically, they're just plastic pieces that you can, uh, you know, with different colors on them. And they don't even have a color code, so there's no way to know what like exact colors they are. So I have to use this, this thing. I don't know how to pronounce that long word, but this thing. We use that thing to like you know identify these colors, and it turned out to be uh, you know this lab is not a great success, but we liked it. It's really fun. So our the lab purpose purpose is to uh, determine how much light different colors reflect and uh, to understand how our eye sees color and if that uh, blah blah blah. I mean different light, uh, wavelengths for more complex colors. I mean we did that in the like in the last at last but still since our uh, hypothesis is totally wrong we were like you know we're kind of disappointed. So we don't have hypothesis on it but our hypothesis is that uh, if we if we shoot white light onto a color, it will reflect the same, um, like the same light with the same wavelengths of the color itself. But then here's our data. Our data shows that, I and mean, this is black and white, so it kind of makes sense. But for the other color, like blue and uh, green, which we <coughs> call it key, key lime, um, we see there are a lot of colors that's being reflected. And uh, it's kind of weird, like we don't know. Like We're like, okay, how could this happen? There are a lot of lights here, and it's totally not just one color. And we did more research, and then we realized, okay, so this color seems green, but it's actually not just green, it's blue and green. Or this color, the iris, which is like purple, is purple and blue and green and red and orange. So they're all mixed up, um, and then we came up with this idea. So basically, all the color we see in our daily life are actually make a mixture of multiple wavelengths. And yeah, that's it. Please do And our setup was uh, so this is this was our setup. So we had uh, a white light source here flashing towards the, the color swatch. And then we have another light sensor here. So we know the, the light intensity of the reflection light. And then we also have the, uh, how do you call that thing again? The, the thing that tells you like the different wavelengths. Spectrophotometer. So, Spectro what? Spectro photometer. Spectro photometer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also have a thing like that here, which is a big box mm -hmm. connected to the computer. And yeah, that's how we collect our data. And we always keep the like keep the setup in a dark room so there's no distraction. Oh yeah, and this is the fun part. So uh, just keep your eye on this. Do not blink. <coughs> just Look at it for like 30 seconds. I'll try to turn this on. Oh my gosh. Keep looking at it. Charlie, would you please look at this for 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> yeah. Look at the color of blood. What color do you see? Don't look at me, look at that. What color do you see? Is it red? Yeah. No. no. Is this like super bright now? Yeah. yeah. Does it like hurt? No. Yes. no. Kind of, right? Because when we stare at that red screen for 30 seconds, like your eye, uh, like the nerves behind your eyes just started focusing on um, red, and then they can't see green anymore. So when I show the screen, uh, these nerves are just, you know, they just got weakened up immediately, and that might hurt. I mean, it worked for some people, but this is how human eyes see. You see multiple wavelengths at the same time, 
and that mix up to make up the color you see, like, mm, like the black war, <laughs> this is not white or black, this is like grayish, and it's, it's totally a mixture of a lot of wave eyes. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Jack. Hey, um, I know you talked about cones in the eye, but if you know anything about rods, could you talk about it? Like, oh, I don't. Oh. Well, this lab is, uh, so, we designed this lab to, you know, to try to, uh, you know, figure out the re reflection rate on each color, but then it turns out to be there's no um, specific wavelength for each color. So, we, you know, we figured this out, but we, it's not a lab on this, so we don't really know much about it. Hey, Joe? So, are you saying that the nerves in your eyes are at every moment Performing, performing like really complicated Fourier transforms on all the waves that you see, and like um, interpreting them as different colors. I don't think they're doing the the complicated part, but I think your brain is doing that by you know collecting data. I, I don't know. It's not a lab about. It's not a lab on your brain. It's actually a lab on colors. So <laughs> this is just a little bonus thing for you guys. You know, I try to hurt your eye. <laughs> I think his question was more like, okay, so what are colors? Like, is my red your red? Well, uh, I mean, colors are like so different perfect wavelengths different. that you see. You I said mean, that goes into your eye. <gasps> Sorry, you said that what? light, that colors aren't a specific wavelength, right? Mm -hmm. So what's to say that this wavelength that we associate with red is actually red? Uncolored. Well, I'm pretty sure there are pure red, but you just don't really see it in real life. Because, for example, Prem is wearing a like, reddish shirt, but it's not red, yeah, it's like red, red with some color blue. Color blue. <laughs> I mean, I know he's colorblind, but yeah. oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I was gonna, I'm sorry. Well, I was gonna say to answer your question, like I, I'm colorblind, so I obviously perceive the world in a much different way from what we consider to be normal. So what your brain does is it, I think, it interprets uh, wavelengths that are picked up by the rods in your eye that are sent to your brain to the optic nerve, and it decides cones, cones, and uh -huh. it decides. Um, what that, what you should interpret that color as, or what you should interpret that wavelength as. So, you see a wavelength, or a, you receive so a wavelength. Is it innate, or can it be trained? Like, can I train your brain to not be colorblind cognitively? Mm -hmm. uh, so can we know. fix him? Or even well, like it, it depends. If your brain is like, if the six color is purely man. the interpret, <laughs> like your brain is saying this is red. I mean then well, I can well, give you yeah, medication yeah. to block neurons, or I could well, hypnotize well, you. Well, you see that happens like because physical... Physical. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could just surgically like implant three more cones into each of his... Right. It's, like, when, when the teacher the says this wavelength <laughs> is, red, is red, what if, like, I'm seeing something totally different? Well, well you can't know, because, well, that's one, that's a, that's a language barrier. I could call anything red. It doesn't mean that at No, that's... Do you, so when I show this uh, like color image, yeah. do you see anything when I switch red to green? Yes, I do. What do you see? I see it go from red to green. Sure, or just see like a like, <laughs> Are you sure? Wait, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I see, I see Schmerfram. What color shirt are you wearing? I see the orange. 